Hey folks, we are on the road and uh, I'm going to show you just uh, how close we are to uh, one of our newest destinations. There it is, Grand Forks, seven miles. We are on uh, good old I-29 heading north and uh, we're up uh, on the road today to Inc., our newest affiliate for the Common Sense Club in the Scott Hennon Show. Gosh, it feels great to uh, control your own destiny and uh, I must say that um, uh, previously, uh, I don't try to remember, I guess we inked this, uh, this, this last deal back in October. Um, I don't know, call it a weak moment, call it nostalgia, uh, but uh, you know, I don't blame anyone. If there's anybody to blame, it's me. I inked a deal uh, with a company that I previously was a owner of and that I had uh, built and, uh, and, uh, and got off the ground with the help of some investors and a whole lot of uh, wonderful people that I called uh, colleagues every day. Uh, and so I had a little nostalgia for what we built back in uh, 2008, 2009, and when 2010 came and um, some investors wanted to take the radio station in a different direction than I did, we had a mutual parting. And uh, I will say it's never fun to, to have a separation, but uh, it was amiable and they were above board and everything done uh, according to uh, contract. Shortly after that, they offered me an opportunity to come back uh, on that radio station in a new capacity. And uh, again, sort of out of nostalgia and, uh, and, and just a love for what we had built. I went along with that deal. That deal included um, control of our program, uh, control of advertising, uh, relationships with, uh, with advertisers, and ultimately uh, the um, syndication of the show in the hands of others. And that's where I messed up, uh, because quite honestly, we've uh, been spinning our wheels the last number of months. So it's fun to roll up the sleeves and uh, ultimately uh, seek new partnerships, and uh, we're doing that already. Uh, uh, signing uh, two new affiliates in the last uh, number of days and uh, in talks uh, currently with um, other media entities in, in Fargo to maintain the, the, the presence of the Common Sense Club in uh, that market. But uh, we're not limiting ourselves to uh, North Dakota markets. We're uh, talking to folks in Minnesota, South Dakota, and we are expanding. I mean, literally, we've been at this uh, since Monday and uh, we've already signed uh, two agreements. So uh, it's fun, it's exciting. Uh, the sponsors uh, continue to uh, motivate us. The listeners continue to motivate us. You continue to motivate us. A couple of questions that have come in. Folks have, um, have asked, well, wait a minute. I, I thought you were interested in, 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 in delivering the program online. We are. Uh, we, uh, uh, we are committed to the new media. As uh, I've said uh, before, uh, the um, websites sort of beneath our noses have outgrown the audience that we had on the radio stations. We have more people every day that tune us in and see our content via the websites than do uh, the radio stations. Now, uh, I'd love for that to be reversed the other way. I'm a lifelong radio guy. So if we could ultimately go back to the, uh, the days of, um, of um, uh, you know, having more ears uh, from the radio than we have eyeballs online, I'd be the happiest guy on the planet. Uh, and that's why we're building it back out. But uh, we still will continue our effort and very much appreciate the feedback we are getting from the audience about ways we can deliver what we do. Commentary, newsmaker interviews, uh, you know, breaking news when it happens, uh, being on the cutting edge of uh, uh, what's happening in the energy world uh, throughout uh, the region, being on the cutting edge of what's happening in the ag world throughout the region, uh, you know, celebrating all the entrepreneurial success we do. Uh, we're going to tell those stories again and again and again. And we're going to be the lone media voice for conservatives, who are a vast majority of folks who populate these wonderful plains. Yes, oh, the semi interrupted the beautiful plains. Anyway, uh, we, we, we're excited. We are. Say hi to our, uh, our rest of our team here. Stacy Bars Bassett is a wonderful chauffeur. How are you, Stacy? Just fine. Stacy is, of course, um, dealing with uh, all the marvelous clients that we have in the Freedom Force Communications. Our chief of staff, JT, is in the back row. JT uh, is also dealing with a lot of clients and stations and uh, doing a fabulous job on our many causes uh, as well. And uh, the producer of the show, for how many years? A lot. A lot of years. When, when did you start producing the show up in Grand Forks? Uh, 19, 90, oh, probably 97 or 98. How about that? 97 or 98. So he came, we started Valley Talk 1986 up in this very community of Grand Forks. So it's kind of exciting to be back, actually, in uh, in uh, 
in Grand Forks and uh, have this be an important part of uh, the rebirth of the Common Sense Club and the Scott Hinn Show. A lot of you have asked what's going to change about the show. Not a lot, quite honestly. Uh, it, it, it is going to be what it has been uh, for a lot of years, but that started in Grand Forks. So that's a part of our heritage. Uh, you know, we're, we're making an effort to be out more. We've uh, dedicated ourselves to say about one-third of the shows will be from the road, about one-third from our home studios being built currently in, uh, in Fargo on South University Drive, and uh, about one-third from up here in the Northern Valley in Grand Forks as well. So um, uh, we're excited. We really are about uh, getting cranking. Uh, we're making the news again. You see this? Uh, the uh, Fargo Forum today has uh, some media news. Ed Schultz in a little bit of hot water, and Scott Hannon, uh, the headline says, taking his show to Grand Forks, uh, which I am. Uh, the, the, the one thing I would caution folks in reading that story is that um, we're not leaving anywhere. We're adding Grand Forks. That's the news. Uh, to Tioga and Williston and, uh, and the other network stations that we're adding. Again, this is we're days old. And, uh, and already added two stations, so we're excited. Thanks for watching. That's an update on what's happening, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. From the row in Grand Forks, I'm Scott Hinnon, the chairman of the Common Sense Club.